All right, what's up, Jiu-Jitsu Kaiser fans? It's your boy, Astro, and today we are back with a brand new video on Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen Curse Club. If you are new to the channel, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, so you know how upload as we get into today's video. Now, we're gonna be discussing, you know, the stuff that we already know about JJK Curse Clash and uh, what to expect from the game. So we know, like when it comes to combat and stuff like that, when you hit a specific attack, curse energy is accumulated. And when the curse level is rised up to a certain height, up to, I think it's like three stages, you can use a character specific ability. And if it's higher than anyone else's on the battlefield, you can take advantage of that situation and get them out of the way. Now we're gonna be moving on to like the combo scene. So the combos is basically like this. The basic combo doesn't do anything. The basic combo is just for, you know, to, you know, start off with building curse energy and moving on sword and so forth. You have your curse techniques that, you know, they do damage, they do a decent chunk of damage, and you can basically like, you know, shoot them out at different people, um, whether it be like Maki's, uh, not Maki's, Jesus Christ, whether it's Nabara's hammer and nails, uh, Yuji's black flash, or Gojo's, um, Gojo's red, purple, and blue. Those types of attacks. But Code Link, you know what I'm saying? The Code Link, uh, Code Link ability where you have two characters that can link abilities upon startup. Whether you'll get like a cool cutscene between two characters who have interacted within the show, or you'll get the chance to have your know, one of your characters just do a random ultimate and send the other person flying. Then you have your Awakenings, which will do like it's when you get your curse level like to the max ability, like your curse energy to the max. And you have all, I think it's like all three gauges, three stages, and you can unleash like an ultimate attack, whether it be a domain expansion, or it can be something just like an awakening ability that the character has, right? Who doesn't have a domain expansion, right? And so not only that, but we have multiple characters that we're getting in the game. Of course, we have the boy Yuji Itadori, we got Megamine, Nabara, Maki, Inomaki, Panda, Nanami, Gojo, Toto, Mahito, Gujo, uh, not, wait, is this Nanami? Wait, that's not, no, that's Ka Hanami. Damn, I get those two mixed up, Nanami and Hanami, because they, they sound similar. My fault, my fault, my fault. Then we got Necros, Necrosis, and then we have uh, Sakuna, and then we recently just learned that we're getting the ultimate fraud, Yuta, and then we're getting that boy, Ghetto. So, we got a pretty decent sized roster, I'm not gonna lie, we got a pretty decent sized roster. This is actually like, kind of, it's not lackluster, but it's just like, it's, it's, a, it's a decent roster, it's a decent roster. This is just, and I was hoping we would get Toji, cause Toji is fucking goaded. I want Toji, maybe he might be a DC, maybe he might be DLC, yeah. These are some of the characters that we're getting, and the abilities that some of these characters get do differentiate from each other. Um, like I know for Nabora, like her doing her hammer ability, I think it's like her basic hammer ability. She doesn't do damage. Like her, her basic hammer, like when she does them like, yeah, 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 it doesn't do damage. But if you charge it and you get like a nail stacked up on each other, if you're able to stack up three and then press like the little I guess it's like a little button that you use to snap. It will causes the damage to be greater than what it would have been if it was just like one or two. So that's that's cool. That's cool. I like that. Iomaki has this thing where he does like the little screen. And forgive me if I'm don't know the abilities names. I recently finished Jitsu Kaisen, so knowing all this stuff is just like I. Right. But um, he does this little screen thing, right? And it paralyzes. And it also does damage, so that I'm I'm curious to see how this how that goes when um, actually fighting in battle. I made Sakuna. He can hit opponents, but I don't like the fact that he can't deal damage to his opponents. Like I mean, not deal damage to his opponents, deal damage to his teammates. Like Sakuna doesn't need nobody to be on his team. Like why are y'all on my team? I want to demolish everybody that comes in my path as Sakuna. Like why is this not an issue? Like. I want him to be able to attack not only teammates and deal damage to teammates, but also to my opponents. Like, you're all fodder to me. Like, get out of here. I don't want you. Fight. Move. Get out the way. It is what it is, bro. But Jujutsu Kaisen looks like it's going to be a great 
fantastic game. Can't wait to play it with the friends. I'm going to be running everyone's pocket. So if you see me online with Sakuna dogging niggas, just know. <laughs> just know. <laughs> I'm coming for everyone in the top scene. Bro. I'm coming for everybody. But uh, overall, this game looks like it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be so much fun. And I just can't wait to see what Biking cooks up next because Biking has been seriously cooking with everything that's been coming out recently. But they have seriously been making sure that every character is unique to their own character from the show. And I really do enjoy that. But my final thoughts are I can't wait to play Jujutsu Kaisen. So thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, stay notified when I upload. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.